Giannini and his team uh, a ton of credit. They played great, and uh, they've had a heck of a week uh, beating two ranked teams. Uh, you know, they, <laughs> their guards were terrific. Uh, they, they really played, a, they had a simple approach on offense, which was spread the floor and try to get in the lane. And if you can't get in the lane, flip it to the next guy, and then he, he takes his turn playing one on one. And it was very effective. You know, we did not do a good enough job defending them in, uh, in those one on one situations. Uh, we knew it was coming. Uh, it was a pretty simple preparation, but uh, it's one thing to know it's coming. It's another thing to, to stop it. Well, one of the things that we did uh, is is helped a lot more off of kind of the next guy over on both sides. So the next defender to the right, the next defender to the left. And that was effective at, at, at times in the game. Uh, and, and I think it slowed them down. But they did a nice job just continuing to play. And you know, we made some mistakes at the end of the clock uh, on some, on some uh, handoffs. Our guys got caught up. One guy switched, the other guy didn't. Uh, so that that hurt us. Coach, how much does this, does this kind of knock you guys back a little bit? Two losses in a row. Is the is the psyche at all damaged by this? No, I don't think so. I think uh, it, you know, not to be uh, overly simplistic, but it just it knocks us back. We're, we're one game out of first place. That's that's the biggest way that it knocks us back. But. Uh, I'm really excited, to be honest with you, Hank, about the opportunity with this team to move forward from these two games. Uh, you know, clearly, the Richmond game was, was a, an unbelievable, emotional, uh, took a toll emotionally and physically. I mean, it was 45 minutes of a very physical game. And, you know, we're talking about 48 hours. Uh, I think our guys did a really nice job of trying to turn the page, not dwelling on that game. Uh, you know, putting everything they had into this game, but we didn't we didn't quite have that extra burst that we that we've had other games. And you know, I, I don't know if there's a whole lot that that we can do about that. But like I said, I'm excited about moving on. Uh, there's a lot of areas where we need to get better. It's great. You know, that's 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 why you know we we coach. That's why our players play is to get better and improve. What did they do to bother Graham so much? They did a nice job, but it was more Trey, Trey didn't have Trey wasn't Trey tonight, and uh, but not to take anything away from LaSalle. I mean, they, they, they did a nice job on him, but he was tired. I mean, I think if you ask him, he'll tell you he was tired. And you know, we played I don't know how many minutes he played against Richmond. It was in the high 30s, uh, and we just asked him to do so much. It, it might be unrealistic, you know, how much we ask him to do. He got a lot of good drives that. We normally like for him to get. He just didn't finish many of them. Uh, you know, it's debatable whether there was more contact than was called on some of his shots. Uh, you know, obviously that's not not my job to make those calls. So, uh, you know, I think for Trey to score 13 points and get 12 rebounds on uh, on an off night says a lot about him. But he just he just didn't have he didn't have what Trey normally has and. You know, it's not his fault. It's just, you know, we had a tough game on Thursday, uh, you know, and his body takes a little while to recover. And, you know, uh, between those two games, he played over 70 minutes. Talk, talk about Galloway. It seemed like he hit one killer shot on you Yeah, he was terrific. I mean, he's <laughs> he banked in the three in the first half and, uh, you know, and then made, made three other big time threes, uh, and then he did a great job off the dribble, and he made his free throws. So when you add those things together, uh, you know, he is a dynamic guard in this league, uh, and it's a, it's a guards league. You know, we've, we've played six games now, and you know, we, we've, we've seen so many big time guards that you know, could play in any program in the country. Uh, and Galloway is certainly one of those guys. I, I remember him when I was an assistant at Florida. We, we recruited him, 
um, because he went to high school in Miami, and you know he's he's gotten much better with his all-around game. You know, he shoots it better now and stronger. Um, so he, I, you know, the way he played tonight, uh, he's as good as any guard in this league. Yeah, it is, yeah. I, I think uh, we started we started with that in the first game against Dayton. You know, it's it's just a better league, and uh, you know, from a standpoint of talent, is the is the biggest thing that uh, that jumps up and smacks you. Uh, is you know, these teams have uh, multiple guards that can break you down, and uh, they've got more quickness, they've got more strength, and more athleticism. So, you know, when you add those things together, it can be more difficult to defend. But we knew, you know, it was going to be a step up. And, uh, you know, I think for our players and for our coaches, this is a, a great opportunity, you know, to see how much better we can get. And you know, we're still 4-2, and two, you know, like I said, a game out of first place. Uh, so it, it, there's a lot of basketball left to be played. I told the team, hey, we lost two games in a row in January last year in uh, Georgia State and Drexel. And what happens when you lose is a lot of people start to doubt you. Uh, you know, you, you lose that number next to your, your name, which is fine. Uh, being ranked is not why we play or coach. Um, but that's not what makes you win, you know, whether people doubt you or not or whether you're ranked. What makes you win is doing all the things that go into winning. And that's what we've got to get better at. He did, yeah. I, I, I thought this was one of Jew's better games. He did a really nice job uh, attacking, finishing. Uh, I thought he, his, uh, his defense was pretty good. Uh, you know, we, he's probably the next guy after Trey that we asked the most out of. And, you know, he also expended a lot of energy against Richmond, but I thought he did a really good job bouncing back tonight playing with, with really good energy on both ends. And he, you know, he, play, he played well enough, you know, in, obviously in his matchup for us to win, uh, but we lost some other matchups. And, uh, you know, it's a team game. Coach, we see these guys on a daily basis, so Briante's always got that aggressive look to us. Pick up two early fouls, does that change anyway or alter anything? It does, yeah, it does. And our guys, that's yeah, a fine line, you know, we, we, we uh, we ask our guys to be so aggressive, but at the same time, you want to play. And when you're in foul trouble, you, you know you know the officials might call one. And you know, Bree's a guy that uh, he's kind of a magnet to, to calls because he's flopping around with his arms and he's flying around everywhere. So yeah, I think that affected him tonight. I think that affected you know a couple of our other guys uh, at times on Thursday. Uh, we just got to learn to play with fouls better and you know, obviously do a better job adjusting to the officials.